Christmas, a time when the world pauses for a moment, and whether or not they believe in Jesus, the birth of our Savior is on everyone's mind. We sing glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. Celebrate this special season and worship our Savior and King as 3ABN brings you Christmas with Tim Parton and Ryan Day. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel, that mourns in lowly exile here until the Son of God appear Rejoice Rejoice He Like a drama unfolding, the curtain was opening, and an audience of angels was holding its breath. A census, a manger, to travel-worn strangers, the stage was finally set. Angels folded their wings at the throne, worshiping, as God whispered, I love you, my son. Jesus took off his crown and laying it down, said, Father, thy will be done. The time had now come for God's only Son to be born as a light in a dark, lonely place. So he stepped from heaven's hall to Bethlehem's tall, where a star lit his newborn face. to Gabriel with gladness and tears. Play the trumpet, the horns, and the strings. Tell the shepherds and wise men and all who will hear, command all the angels to sing. Fill the sky with your voices and sing. Ha, ha, ha. 
Amen. Amen. That's a difficult song to sing, but it's a beautiful song, and I had to sing it, Tim. Joy. <laughs> Joy is joy what this season world. is about, the fact that Christ has come to That's bring right, us joy. Amen. Amen. Could you imagine, you know, as I'm singing those lyrics and the scenes playing out of my mind, I can just see the Father and the Son and all the angels gathered there in the heavenly realms and Jesus saying, Father, I'm going to go down there. I'm going to die for my people. I'm going to live the life that they can't. And I'm going to show them the example that they can be. And, and, and just seeing that heavenly scene in my mind, as, as it says that Jesus took off his crown and he laid it down. And he came down to this world and, and was robed in flesh. The Bible says he took not upon himself the nature of angels, but our nature. So that he can live exactly and experience exactly what we experience. And I praise the Lord for that birth. That's, that's a blessing indeed. They didn't own a house, no crib, no toys were waiting. Still they had their love for the child they were anticipating. He was born one winter night on a road between two towns. They wrapped him up so warm and tight and said it looks like heaven's come down there was a new star shining in the sky up above by its light that winter night they found peace and perfect love if we want to that new star is shining for us still. He worried how to feed him. Simple trade was all they knew. It was hard enough to make ends meet when there were all The cold and the dark and the hunger couldn't take away their joy. And she knew that they would find a way for that precious baby boy. There was a new star shining in the sky up above by its light. That winter night, they found peace and perfect love. If we want to find it, I know we always will. Cause that new star is shining for us still. If we want to find it, that new star is shining for us still. Yes, it is. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. The sweet, sweet song. I love that song. You know, could you imagine having a baby in a barn? <laughs> <laughs> no. And it's just, it's powerful, but, you know, Mary wasn't having just any normal baby. She was having the Son of God. <laughs> that had been a lot of pressure on her <laughs> to know that you're about to give birth to the king of the universe. We live in such a sterile society, right. you know, and then when baby, babies are born these days, especially in hospitals, um, it's like, I can't imagine right. women, women having accepted those conditions back there right. in general. But um, knowing what Mary knew, 
That's You're right. right. Uh, this was not your ordinary child. Amen. This was Amen. A, a wonderful child. A wonderful child. Right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. I like that. Let's wonderful sing about child. It. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, oh, Jesus, oh, what a wonderful child, yes, Jesus, oh, Jesus, so lonely, meek and mild, new life, new hope, new joy he brings, won't you listen to the angels sing? Joseph was his earthly father. All three wise men came from afar. Yeah. They were guided by his shining star to see King Jesus where he laid in a manger <laughs> filled with hay. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, what a wonderful child. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. So lonely, meek and mild. Oh, new life, new, life, new, hope, new hope, new joy he brings. Oh, won't you listen to the angels sing? Glory, glory, glory <laughs> to the new. Glory to the new. Oh, 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 oh. What a wonderful what child. What a wonderful child. Glory to his he name. Wasn't, he, Jesus probably didn't get many whippings growing up. He, <laughs> maybe he did. I don't well, know. He, he might have. The Bible doesn't say, but he was a wonderful <laughs> child indeed. I probably wasn't so good of a wonderful child to my parents, but, um, <laughs> but you know what? I love singing that song. That's because, what forgiveness is for. That's exactly, why he came. So absolutely, yeah. We can be forgiven I for love our that. bad I love childhoods. It. Amen. <laughs> and you know, I, I, to, to think about it, I mentioned this earlier, the pressure that was on Mary as the mother to raise God you know, to raise Jesus, there must have been a lot of pressure on her as a parent. But you know what, I think, I think that we have enough insight in Scripture to know that she, she was a faithful person. She had been visited by the angel Gabriel, and he had told her, hey, everything's going to be okay, but you're going to give birth to God's only son. And this next song we're, we're going to sing, you're, you're going to sing it, and I'm going to help you out. But uh, I love this next song, Tim, because um, it, was, it was written, I think, I, I know for a fact that this song was inspired by God. Absolutely. Because while a lot of people um, consider this a Christmas song, it could be sung any time of the year. Because even Christmas itself, Christ Mass, it's all about Jesus. And the writer of this song wrote this song, Mary, Did You Know? Because he said, if I could interview the mother of Jesus, these would be the questions I would ask her. Mm -hmm. Did you really know this? Did, you, did it really click with you that you were holding God right. as a baby? And it's just powerful to think that that God came to be a man, to live like we are, to live for us, and to show us that we can have victory in this life. It's powerful. 
And one of the other things I think is powerful about this is that this song has been covered by so many secular artists. Right. Yeah. And, um, you know, they know how to sing the secular Christmas songs. Right. Um, and some of those are, those are great songs. Those are fun songs. I love to sing them. But this song, to know that this message is getting out um, to the world, it's an amazing song. Christ, uh, he is our Savior and our God. Mary, did you know? Did you know that your baby boy will one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you've delivered will soon deliver you. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will give sight to a blind man? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will calm a storm with his hand? Did you know that your baby boy has walked where angels trod and when you kiss your little baby you've kissed the face of god the blind will see the deaf will hear the dead will live again Did you know that your baby boy is Lord of all creation? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day rule the nations? Did you know that your baby boy is heaven's perfect land? This sleeping child you're holding is the great I am. Powerful. Mm -hmm. That's a powerful song. Mm -hmm. Powerful indeed. I'm going to play a couple um, yeah. songs here. Let's hear it. Um.
Praise the Lord. I love those good old Christmas songs. You know, yeah. you know, it reminds me, Tim, as I'm as we're singing these songs and you know, we have this beautiful set here. You know, a lot of people scoff at Christmas, you know, because mm-hmm. a lot of people have done some research and and yes, there are some pagan uh, historical mm-hmm. references to some of the things that happens as we celebrate in our Western culture today. But you know, I love Christmas that time of the year, because while I don't celebrate it in the modern Western cultural type way, you know, with all the pagan little additives that some people, you know, scoff at, but I love this time of year because it gives me an opportunity to share Jesus with others. People are are more open and welcome to listen to you Mm -hmm. about Jesus during this time. And I love these songs because it reminds me of growing up as a child when I was innocent of many of the things that me and my family practice, but still I had that instilled within me that, you know what, Christmas isn't about the gifts. Mm -hmm. It's not about Santa Claus and snowmen and reindeer and all those other things, but it's about Jesus. Right. And I just love singing about Christmas and singing about Christ because without his birth, we wouldn't be here. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus truly is, and it never becomes trite to me, the reason for the season. That's true. So um, I, I love the fact that the Bible is, is, it's centers around that. I love when That's I right. open up the center of the Bible, it falls to Matthew. Right. And um, maybe not quite the center, but sure, sure. Um, in essence, uh, the, the message it opens up, the, the, the gospels open up with the fact that That's right. Christ was born. He came to earth. That's right. And what a, what a thing to celebrate, right? I know, so, I know. <laughs> so I, I will always keep Christmas in my heart. That's right. <laughs> uh, so, um, and, and keep Jesus as That's the right. center. It truly is the most wonderful time of the year, I believe. <laughs> I totally agree with that. We have that in common. <laughs> Heaven cannot hold him, nor earth sustain. Heaven and earth shall flee away when he comes to reign. In the bleak. 
If I were a wise man, I would do my part. Yet what can I give to Merry Christmas to you, friend. Merry Christmas, brother. God bless you.